Most of the time my artwork is very spontaneous. I'm inspired by my environment. I see something that I like and I'm like, wow, I love that. That looks so cool. And so I try to just do my art based on my experiences and what I like. I've been taking art classes since I was in like first grade, both in and out of school. Going to art class was um, an, a, very, a very enjoyable part of my day because it was a nice break from academics and I, I mean, I learned a lot and that has helped me grow into the artist I am today. My art has been showcased at uh, the Transportation Building, the Chongsu Center for the Arts, um, UMass Lowell. I loved seeing um, many different styles of art from many different other artists. I can either learn from it or take inspiration from it um, and I think that's um, very cool. This piece, um, so it was my math final, what I did was I took like a huge canvas and um, turned it into a grid and graphed a bunch of equations um, and um, made them into a pattern of hearts and painted each like section that um, the lines created. So it's 40 functions and that's why it's called functions of color. The project was just do something creative with math and so I immediately went for art. and. Um, I think that's really cool because I love, I love, love, love when art and STEM can be combined um, because I think they can go hand in hand, but oftentimes those subjects are so like separated, but I think that they can come together and I think that's very cool. The message is um, that um, STEM and art can go hand in hand and that's a beautiful thing. It's called uh, Martine. It's a... Um, it's a stipple, it's a portrait made entirely out of dots. I've been dying to do something with stippling for a long time. Um, and then I love portraiture, so I'm like, all right, I'll combine the two. Um, and so I just found um, this picture and I, um, of this girl and I absolutely loved it. So I decided to make it my own. Just a uh, blue pen, a navy blue pen, that was it. My third art piece is um, The Memory Project. Um, it's a four-year-old um, four girl named Aaliyah from somewhere in the United States. They never say where in the country. So this is just like, I think, such an amazing thing that Chumsud High does um, because I just love the idea of sending a drawing um, someone from an orphanage and sending it back to them. Um, I just think that's such a cool and inspiring thing to do. Um, and so I just, this is like my favorite project. I can definitely like connect to this um, project because I do believe that these orphans need love and um, this is definitely a way to bring it, especially through art. <laughs>